Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your post-Christmas goodie bar. We're ready and open for business today. Come on in. Hot chocolate's working right now. Sit on down. We're going to look at some psalm today. Psalm 142, as a matter of fact, verses 5 and 6. Yesterday we looked at the, we finished actually the first half of this prayer, verses 1 through two, one through 4. I'll spit it out here in a minute. 1 through 4, he identifies his complaint. He, he begins by saying, I have a complaint, I have trouble. And then he identifies it, and that is, there's nobody there for him. He's, he's looking around, and he can't find anybody. He's by himself. And we know that in the life of David, that's true. That happened. Uh, Saul abandoned him. He had to leave the palace. He could no longer perform his duties as the captain of the guard. He could no longer be in the in the uh, court of Saul because Saul wanted to kill him. He had to abandon everything. And he, he ended up living in a cave, and actually more than one, several caves and strongholds and dens, because Saul was constantly pursuing him. He's expressing this sorrow of heart, this overwhelming feeling within him. He says there, as a matter of fact, in 3, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me. It's overwhelmed because he's alone. He's been rejected by everyone he knew, and now he's he's having to face it on him, on himself. He's all on his own. And the word refuge looms very large in this passage because he's in the cave. He's in a refuge, but it's not the refuge of the physical surrounding him, the physical structure surrounding him that he's talking about. He's talking about a spiritual refuge. He thinks he's referring to a refuge of men when actually what he needs, what his soul desires, is a refuge in God. And that's what he finds. We're going to look at verses 5 and 6 now. Let me read those for you. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. That's a good prayer, isn't it? That's a prayer that you and I can make. Let's just go back and let me pick up just a couple of things um, before we conclude for today. He cries unto the Lord. Of course, we've seen that language before. We had it up there in verse 1. So verse 1 begins with the very same language. I cried unto the Lord. Here we have it again. I cried unto thee. O oh Lord, so it's a little more pointed. And in the first half, it's the complaint, the identification of the problem, the trouble, the overwhelming nature of what's happening to him. Here, he's crying unto the Lord, but he's confessing now. Now we find him in a good position. Everyone's left him. He has nowhere else to go. So what does he do? He, In his complaint, in his overwhelmed state, he cries unto the Lord, unto thee, O oh Lord, he says, you are my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Let me ask you a question. What would it be like if you had to depend completely upon the Lord? What would it be like if he was your only portion in this life? You couldn't look to the government. You couldn't look to family for help. You couldn't look to any man for any good to come to you. But you had to call on the Lord. What would that be like? I think it would be something like what David's experiencing here. He's complaining. He's pouring himself out before the Lord. And guess who's going to hear him? The Lord is. Guess who's going to be his refuge? The Lord is. Guess who's going to bless him and protect him? The Lord is. Oh, we need this kind of experience, I think. I think maybe perhaps all of us need to depend more on the Lord so that we can say with David, you are my portion in the land of the living. And then he makes a prayer about his prayer. He says, attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. And of course, Saul was much stronger than David, but David had a strength that exceeded Saul's because he is God's anointed, and the Lord is on his side. The Lord's with David. Tomorrow, we'll look at verse 7 and see how David brings this prayer to a conclusion. Join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.